Yeah, I'm a big Twitter fan, and uh, I've been thinking for a while about how we could leverage Twitter to host uh, web applications or websites as opposed to right now, you know, every time you find something interesting, you have to navigate away from Twitter to an external website that's packed with ads and slow, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm doing in this example is I'm taking an existing application uh, basically that uh, that's like a newsreader or a blog type application and I want to take the uh, entire contents of this application and have it hosted on Twitter and be able to utilize it from Twitter uh, all within a single tweet. So here's my application. Uh, let's just go ahead and reload that. So it's basically just a blog reader, news reader type application, which allows you to select articles uh, using the keyboard or mouse and be able to read those articles right in line. So uh, I can just select an article. In this case, I just go to the first one and it allows me to read the article. Uh, you know, I can use my keyboard to navigate between articles. And, you know, very quickly I'm able to read a bunch of content uh, without any of the um, the ads or anything else that might exist to slow down the site. Uh, you know, some navigational tools so, you know, I can look uh, at all the articles and read those as well. So what I want to be able to do is take this existing application and host it on Twitter uh, all within a single tweet. So let's go ahead and let's look at the source for this page. And this is a single web page application. And the entire application is hosted in a single web page that's listed here. So all the images and script and everything are embedded within the application. So how do I get this on Twitter? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to encode this HTML um, inside of an image and host that on Twitter. So the first thing I want to do then is I have a bookmarklet here and I'll show you what this does uh, in a later video. But basically it's just a few lines of code that takes this text and codes it to a PNG file. So if I go ahead and select encode image, it just creates this PNG image that uh, of course looking at it is, uh, it doesn't give you much information but embedded in this is that entire web application. So let's go ahead and create a new tweet and I want to take this image and I want to drag it over. And as far as Twitter is concerned, this is just a standard image. And so I'll say, you know, this is my blog. And go ahead and tweet that. And so uh, I now have this image in Twitter that's available to all of my, uh, all of my followers, uh, whatever. And of course, looking at it right now, it doesn't really uh, mean anything. Uh, but to use this application, all I need to do is I can just go ahead and say open image in a new tab. And this gives me my image. And notice I'm still on the Twitter website. And now I need to basically decode that image back into my working web app. And I have another bookmarklet that I can use to do that. So I'll just go ahead here and say decode my image. And now I have my working application uh, right, uh, right in the application. Notice I didn't have to, I didn't navigate away from Twitter. So all the code still exists on Twitter inside this image. I'm just replacing the, uh, the image with the HTML uh, encoded within that image. So I go ahead and you can see I have my application. It works the same as it did before. You know, I can navigate between articles and read articles, and it worked exactly the same as uh, as it did before. And if I go ahead and say view the source, you'll notice there is no source because it's basically the HTML is encoded within the image. But if I go ahead uh, and look at the inspect, uh, I, I can 
just maximize that. You can see that I have all of the HTML and script. And all it basically do, did was it took the HTML that I encoded in the image and uh, wrote to the document object model and now I have a working application. So very easy uh, to be able to take existing applications or create all new applications that live inside Twitter and accessible uh, from any web browser. I will spend some more time in another article looking at uh, what these bookmarklets actually do. Uh, thanks for listening.